Okay, so hello everybody. Um, it's me again. If anyone of you is wondering why I seem so sad, I seem so sad. It's because um we had to put one of our cats down today. His name is Noodles. He had to be put down today. He had to be euthanized because he he wasn't eating and uh, he mm, um he had dementia in his brain. So his brain he wanted to eat, but his brain. When we put the plate in him, his brain didn't register that he should be eating, you know? And he was only 15, but that's old for a cat. Well, for him, because he only had one nostril. He could only breathe out of one nostril. The other nostril didn't develop on the left side. So... They only expected him to live until like five or six. And then probably at most 10 or 12. So, and he was 15. So 10 or 11, not 10 or 12, but 10 or 11. And then it lived to until 15. But we fed him pretty good. We fed him on high quality food, right? So we gave him like, we tried to give him like the best of the best, you know? And uh, and I really made sure that I bought him good quality food, you know? So that that's why he lived so long. I blame it all on diet, but still, you know, I miss him. My heart is broken right now. You don't know what kind of a day I'm feeling. You know, like it can drop. You know, like the strawberries all over the store floor and think that that's the worst day ever. You could come up with any other excuse, like how lonely you are, how, you know, the worst day ever is like you don't have any friends. But you can always go out and meet people. But you can't control your when your pet is gone. You can't control that feeling and, you know, at least majority of the time you can fix what you did. You know, you can fix the problem, but you can't fix, I can't bring my cat back. I can't replace, well, I can replace a cat. I can replace noodles, but it won't be the same cat. It won't be the same cat with the same personality. That's the difference. You can't control that. You can't, like, get a cat that has the same personality and to come into your house. I mean, like, that would be, like, very, like, one in a million, right? Y you can't replace that, right? But you can fill the void by replacing your cat. But you just can't replace the same cat, you know? So, you guys are complaining about the worst day ever? Well, and, well, most of you would know what it's like to lose a beloved pet, but for the ones who don't, don't be complaining about your life being miserable and your life stopping and your life being the worst day ever because, because after when I lost my beloved cat, Today, my heart is literally shattered, like poof, gone, you know, like I have no emotion right now, but, but, but sadness and misery and, you know, every day of my life has been a struggle, you know, from being independent to wanting to achieve goals. It's like, I never could do that. I never could live the way I wanted. And now this, 
Like, it's like my life has been misery. I can't even, like, but this is just the next misery on top of that, you know? Like, I can't even explain how I feel right now. I can't, I can't even explain the feeling, but I feel lost. I feel like something is missing in my life right now. So I just feel like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I really don't, but just, It's all we can hope for is that we know he's in a better place. We know he's not suffering. We know he's up there with our dog, Missy. And oh, my dog, Missy, and our cat, Katinka, that we had before. So, yeah, we know he's up there with them too. So, at least that puts a better state of mind in my mind. Knowing that he's not suffering, knowing that he's happy, and at least he's in heaven. You know? And he's not suffering, and he's not, you know, he's in heaven now. He's happy. You know, he's not sick anymore. So that's good. But it's that, you know, it's that thought of him not being here, you know? My dad won't get to wake up to him in the morning, biting him and sneezing in his face because he only had one nostril. Um, so he always get bunged up. So he would in his face in the morning. And then um, he, he won't be up here for his treats every every afternoon. And, and then that. And then again at like three o'clock, he won't be meowing for supper. And that's gonna be the time I miss the most. You know, it's not gonna be the same. It's definitely not. And my heart is shattered, like literally shattered. And 